Here's my favorite. This is a Vancouver pundit for the Globe and Mail. He's giving Alberta some advice. He says, Jason Kenney fights for Alberta even if the enemy isn't real. The fact that a reputable organization such as the Pembina Institute, a nonprofit think tank focused on energy sustainability, could be lumped in with groups said to be working against Alberta's interests with the support of shadowy funding, Mr. Kenney's words, is patently absurd and underscores just how ridiculous this entire public relations exercise is. Yeah, no, um, that's just not true. The Pembina Institute was one of the groups financed by the Rockefeller Brothers Fund to stop and kill and demonize the oil patch. But sure, Vancouver expert on Alberta, sure, the enemy isn't real. Here's another weird one, also in the Globe, I don't know why. Uh, this one says, Alberta's offensive against oil sands opponents is politics, masquerading as public policy. Alberta looks to be moving towards a green version of the Red Scare. Premier Jason Kenney's United Conservative Party has launched its offensive against what it says is a scourge of environmental opposition to the oil industry. Well, they're right, it's not a red scare, it's a green scare, but imagine claiming that it's a fiction or a witch hunt. That's what the red scare was. It was largely baseless name calling, as if the pipelines have not been killed, as if it's all a hoax or something. Who are these clowns or these kooks? Look at this. Amnesty International, the group that's supposed to worry about well, frankly, places like OPEC countries where they actually abuse their people, they're condemning Canada's ethical oil. I've never seen them write a letter about OPEC oil, but boy, they hate Alberta. Let me quote. Amnesty International is writing this open letter in the response to the fight back strategy that has been launched by your government, specifically the establishment of an energy war room devoted to defending the oil and gas industry in Alberta and a public inquiry into the foreign funding of groups who oppose or criticize energy developments in the province. Hey guys at Amnesty, a war room isn't really a war. I know you were created to be against wars and to go after war criminals. Here, war room is just a phrase. Let me read some more. Amnesty International is deeply concerned that these initiatives undermine and violate a range of Alberta's human rights ob obligations under the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms and international law, including freedom of expression, freedom of association, the rights of indigenous peoples, and gender equality. Huh? The fight back strategy also risks setting back the province's responsibility to advance comprehensive action to address the human rights impacts of the global climate crisis. Oh, is, is, that, is that what Amnesty International is about now? The global crisis. Um, for a civil rights group, nothing, nothing more interesting, more important out there and more pressing. China, Hong Kong, Russia, Iran, Venezuela. You're going after Alberta, the freest province in one of the freest countries? Get this, Amnesty International is also greatly concerned that these initiatives and the rhetoric surrounding them feeds into a worsening climate of hostility towards human rights defenders, particularly indigenous women and environmental human rights defenders, exposing them to intimidation and threats, including threats of violence. Oh, uh, really, eh? Um, I should remind you, speaking of violence, Amnesty International in Canada has literally published a dozen defenses of an actual war criminal, an actual murderer and terrorist, an actual violent man, Omar Khadr. Yeah, but here's the thing. Kenny's government has been in office for a few months now. The election was in April. So it's coming up on what? It's almost half a year. These early months are a test of the government's resolve and priorities and ability to get going. So is this war room going to be about anything more than a fancy website and some feel good videos and maybe a suggestion box, you know, some town hall, stuff like that? It was going to actually be a war room and not just a bureaucrat's room. Now's the time to prove it. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant show. Every day I do a video monologue and then I interview an interesting guest and then I end by reading my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.